Oh, look at that guy right there. Oh, wow. Subscribe to the wow. Wow, okay, I do see him now. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my wildin' people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Finally, guys, today was the day. Today was the day to make a baby's only tank. If you guys are first tuning into this channel and have no idea what I'm talking about, here is how I first discovered that my African cichlid female was brooding babies. Here's a clip. All right, let's see. Pay close attention to the one on the left. Here's slow motion for you guys. Right there, she has something in her mouth. That little clip that I just showed you guys, some of you guys were able to see that the mother was brooding little babies in her mouth. Little fry, and I had no idea. So if it wasn't for you subscribers, you loyal subscribers, I probably would have missed it, and it probably would have been too late. Once I found out what was going on, I immediately did this. Okay, we got her. We got her, guys. We got her. Perfect. Now let's release her into her new home. Let her swim off. Where is she? Where is she? And perfect. Come Oh, There they are, guys. This is as clear as it's going to be. That's a good shot right there. So you guys can actually see what's going on. Oh, wow. Subscribe to the wow. Oh, okay, I do see him now. All right, guys, so I had the mother taking care of the babies. It was beautiful. But there comes a point where the babies must leave their mother's mouth and venture on into this cruel, cruel world. It's a circle of life. All right, guys, and that's exactly what today's episode is about. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, and let's get it. My Walden people. Take a look at her. That is the mother right there. And take a look at all of her little beady babies. Oh wow, they're amazing. Ho oh, ho, look at them, look at them go. Okay, so this mother right here, she is no longer mouth brooding her children, meaning it is time to remove her and have this be a baby's only tank. I think it's about time. I just don't want her eating the babies, plus I want to give the babies an opportunity to grow. And she's done her job. As you guys can see, she's just chilling in the corner while her little beady babies grow and develop. She has begun eating, as you guys can tell. Mother's belly is not flat anymore. It's still a little sunken, but it's not bad. And she's actually looking for food now. So this is what we're gonna do. I have this little pet carrier. I'm gonna fill it with water. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the fish. I got some bug bites. I'm gonna just drop some. Try to get the mother out, lure her out. She's Oh, told you, she's hungry, so she's gonna come out. Just gonna slowly put my net in there while she tries to have a feast. Look at the colors. Almost got her, almost got her. And she escaped. Wow, what a fish. Lesson learned, remove the plant. Come on, we almost had it, guys. We almost had him. She's cornered. Nope, it's not gonna work this time. And we got her. We're good. Ooh, so I'm just gonna transport her into this pet carrier. Now she's in the pet carrier. We are good. Now I'll gently place this back in the tank, making sure not to crush any baby. Look at all of these babies. We'll take a closer look at them in just a second. We have to get Mama back into her tank. Oh, look at Mama. Mama's so healthy. All right, guys, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up putting her back into her home with her man. The water temperature is the same, but just in case, I'm going to acclimate it. The reason I'm saying it's the same is because I have a heater in this tank and a heater on the other tank, and they're dialed to the same temperature. But we'll just leave her here for just a few moments. All right, there she is. Her man is right there waiting for her. It's been so long, long. <laughs> so the female is well acclimated. It's time to grab my net. Oh, don't fight it, don't fight it. Nice and gentle. Minimize the stress and we release her. Let's see if she'll go back to her man. All 
All right. Feels so good to be back, huh? Feels so good. Oh. Oh, he looks like he's... Oh, he's ready again. Oh, my God. He's ready. What? They've been reunited, and I guess it feels so good. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, wee! <laughs> she missed her man. Isn't that right? That's cute. Now he's playing hard to get. Oh, he is ready. You see him shaking? He is ready for more. Oh, my God. Okay. Shake your tail feather. That's right. That's, that's right, man. Do what you do best. He's enticing her. <laughs> All right. We'll leave these two lovebirds alone. We get the picture, we understand, we got you. Oh. Okay. Okay, tell us how you really feel. Oh my God. All right guys, we have over 20 babies. What I'm gonna start off with, like I've been mentioning before, is bug bites, the shrimp formula. Let's see if we can catch them eating. Oh, that one just grabbed one. It's raining, oh look at them go. Look at those little babies. Ha, ah, that's cute. Look at them swimming. They're so cute. Oh, look at that one has spots on its head. Ah, I'm excited to see them get bigger so you can see the differences in them. That one has little spots on its head. That one has some spots also. Whoa, do they all have spots? Not all of them. Oh, look at the guts on these babies. This is the next day and they're obviously eating great. Let's drop some chunks. A frozen blood worms. They want them. Let's see if they're gonna start nibbling. Who's gonna venture off? Who's gonna be the brave one to go eat? Come on, come on. I think it's that little guy right there. Okay, the babies are interested. Let's get a good, sh oh, look at this guy right there. Oh, look at this guy right there, he's going in. Who else do we have? Oh, it's a feast right now. Oh, look at that guy right there. He's not afraid. <laughs> look at that little guy right there. Look at him eat that. Whoa. All right, guys, you got to share. You got to share. Oh, look at all of them. They're ready. All right, guys, so they love... Frozen bloodworms. Come on, little guy. I believe in y'all. Oh, look at that guy right there in the back. He's going in. Any other takers? Oh, that guy right in front of us went right for it. Enjoy, little ones. Enjoy. Look at them. Look how much they've grown. They went from being small little microscopic fry, brooding and swimming around in their mother's mouth, to being these fruity swimming babies. So I'm excited to share updates about these fry with you guys. And what's so amazing is we haven't lost a single fry. I'm very thankful for that. I'll continue taking care of them. And I'll let you guys know how they're doing each step of the way. All right, so they all just ate very, very well. As you guys can see, they're happy, they're healthy, and they're living their life in this 10 gallon tank. They'll remain in this 10 gallon tank till I feel they're a bit bigger, then I'll move them to a 20 gallon tank. Ooh, keep swimming, Fry. Keep swimming. Alright, my Walden people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the development of my Fry. Right now, what I'm gonna do is feed my fish. Oh, look at them go. Oh, that's a nice splash. Yeah, who doesn't love cat food? Oh! <laughs> Apart from that, my Walden people, be safe. Be safe and stay indoors. Do not leave your house. Respect the curfews. Honestly, if there's no immediate reason and real reason for you to leave your house, stay indoors. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. If you are going to go out, wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, use your handy dandy face shield if you're a fisherman like me. It gets the job done. So until next time, stay safe and stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.